Hi Internet, Bryce here, back with another famous photo recreation story. If you missed the first one, David Beckham, I'll have a video linked right up here. You can see how I recreated the David Beckham photo, but this time we're going to do something different. We're going to do Marky Mark. This one's a little, little moodier, a little black and white, but also kind of happier because he's got, you know, the smiley face. I'm going to go through the whole setup on how I recreated the photo, my thought process behind everything, and I'm also going to add a story about how I almost got started modeling before college. If you don't know who I am, I'm Bryce Eilenberg from RuPaul's Drag Race Pit Crew and the Red Hot 100 calendars and aerospace engineering and ultra marathon running, etc, etc. You know the drill. So I'm going to go over the wardrobe, the gear that I used, as well as also the sh shooting setup. So for wardrobe, I honestly could not find the Calvin Klein underwear. I tried very hard, but apparently underwear from like 10, 15 years ago just isn't in style anymore. So I wasn't able to find it. I just used the Hanes that I had, as they say. It's a very common saying. I'm, I'm sure you've heard of it. Uh, and as for gear, I used the same camera and the same tripod, uh, but this time I had a couple new things. I had a green screen, which it's a black and white photo, so I don't know why I didn't just stand against the wall. Uh, and I also used new lights. A lamp probably would have worked just fine, but I figured I bought some gear, I'm excited, I got gas, gear acquisition syndrome, and I'm going to use it. So I have a link down below for the lights that I use. They're just some standard, you know, three-piece softbox light setup. Uh, they're not the most versatile, they're not the brightest. If you're using it for color accurate work, you can't really change the color temperature. But it's a light, and it works, and it's better than a lamp. So that's what I used. And as for the setup, I had to set up a big old green screen. Uh, for me to stand in front of. And I put, I think, one light, wait, yes, one light about, no, the photo's this way, <laughs> okay. I put one light about here, you know, facing down, because it tried to match the shadows that I saw on the picture. Uh, and they also had kind of a hard shadow on the wall behind me. So I just adjusted the light to be about as close as it needed to be until I got the right shadow and the right shadowing on me. Uh, yeah, pretty simple one light setup with a green screen. Uh, I should have just probably stood against the wall, but oh well. What you gonna do? I actually set this up out in the living room. I was living with a roommate at the time, and I didn't want to have a whole setup with a light and a tripod and a green screen with furniture moved out of the way during the daytime. So I waited for my roommate to go to bed. So at like 10 o'clock at night, I got everything set up and did my own photo shoot from about 10 to 11.30, uh, just because I didn't have room in my room. So I set up the green screen, I set up the light, I set up my camera, put it on a timer, I'd like click the button to hold it down and I'd run in position and like stand there and stick my face up and the doofy like, ah, smiley face. And then hope for the best. I'd run back to the camera, look at the back, go, hmm, I don't know, that's not quite right. And adjust and adjust and adjust. So finally I got something pretty close. Then I just went to editing. It was a lot easier this time around. I didn't have to do any color correction or anything. Just went black and white, adjusted some of the levels, and then you can actually go into the color-specific luminance in Lightroom. So if you have a green background and you need it a little darker, a little lighter, you just adjust the luminance of green so you can get it kind of matched up just about right. It's really useful for editing black and white photos, is the luminance slider per color. Once I got it right, I was like, okay, it's a vertical photo, so we can have it side by side. Put them together just like that, and voila. All done. So my sister actually reminded me from the David Beckham video that even after that story that took place in Las Vegas, uh, there was another incident where I almost ran into modeling, uh, actually right before college. Back in the days of MySpace, which, you know, my best friend was Tom, all that fun stuff we had for Top 8, we were music playing on the background, all that fun MySpace stuff. I was messaged by a model scout to do modeling. I was like, oh cool, yay, this is fun. Uh, so I took some modeling photos. I will show them in, in just a little bit. Uh, went all the way up to Claremont College, if you know where that is, and took some photos around the college and sent them off to a modeling agency and it's like, all right, I'm going to make buku bucks being a model. I was like, yay. And I didn't get a single call for anything at all. Fast forward like four months. I already started college. I was going to class. I was walking back from like a physics lecture. And they're like, hey, can you go to the photo shoot? And I was like, nah, I gotta go to physics. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks everyone for hanging out. I'm, hopefully you enjoyed some of it. If you want to hang out more, I always stream on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, come hang out. I'll play some video games. I'll read the chat. I'll talk to you guys. Yeah, so thanks so much. I'll be here all week and all month, etc. I live here. I have nowhere else to go. Come on. All right. Bye.